Greetings, greetings. Um, here we are in a creative world, and I was just going to give you a tutorial on how to make the chicken farm that you see the cooker. I think I've named it. So here's the not beautified version, but the sort of the version that has a case on it. Um, so let's just show you how it works. So chickens go in here. Uh, I am using a macro to get them in with my mouse. Oop. There's the macro going out of control. Uh, wait for that to calm down. Okay, uh, there we go. <laughs> so we've got uh, about 200 chickens in there. This isn't the, the most efficient farm, but it's certainly fun. So, eggs come down here. So you can just collect them. These aren't necessary, but these are just in case you want to store eggs. So after you cook the chickens, then you have a new stock. So let's just show you how it works. So you stand up here, you flick the lever, and a glorious sight. Just stand here for a bit. Now I'm not too sure on the number of chickens that get lost, but the more chickens you have, the, it seems the greater percentage of them that seem to get lost. Because they sort of clog each other up and get stuck here. You can see they're sort of getting out quite easily. I've tried different designs. Um, this is the best for compact... Oh, there you go. It's quite a bit. Yeah, brilliant. Two, over two stacks, which is better than I get in the single player. Or in the server, actually. Not single player. I don't do... Oh! <laughs> so here they are. Uh, you've got a few left, usually, so if you want to uh, start again without having to hatch a load of eggs, then you can do that. Um, so yeah, you get the eggs and you throw them in there. Oh, macro again, going a bit laggy. Um, I did have a sort of... Ooh. <laughs> I did have a um, repeater and, well, a clock set up and dispensers to fire them in there. But every time the chunk that you're on, like in SMP, of course it would work in single player, but in SMP, whenever the chunk gets unloaded, the repeater, well, the, the clocks, the repeaters in the clock sort of fail and jam up. So you have to reactivate it and, you know, throwing eggs is just easier. Time consuming, but get a macro. <laughs> there you go. Um, so let's just show you how it works. So here we've got the bare bones version. This is bare minimum, pretty much. So entrance is here. Throw the eggs in here. Except there's no roof or anything, so they're just going to come back down. So you walk through here, and how this works is when you flick this repeater, that powers this block, which toggles the state of that torch, and that sets off these pistons. And what these pistons do is they raise up this water, and by raising up that water, they create this sort of stream, uh, rather than keeping all the chickens in the middle, it pushes them all towards this, oopsie, sorry, towards that double door, and what that double door is, so that, wait, um, <laughs> that powers this repeater, which is on one tick, has to be on one added tick, which powers this torch, powers the block, powers the redstone dust, which powers these two pistons on the double door, uh, that goes to both sides. Uh, this is a lot more compact than the one in the multiplayer world, just because that one was a rough test. So what happens when you flick that is, just put the fire out. It toggles the torch, which switches this. If you're wondering why we don't just have dust here or no repeater, that would be because you get, if I can just get the netherrack back, So for some reason, this happens. The water trickles out and puts out one of the netherrack. Now you could have it so that it's just a single door, but then you get chickens getting stuck here, and um, it wouldn't be as efficient. You could have different setups, like moving the netherrack one block in this direction, but then if there if there are any chickens that didn't get cooked by the time you switched it off, they'd be sort of stuck here sitting on this. So that would get well for me that would get annoying. Uh, yeah. 
I did have a two flip flop, but that just you know you might as well have a lever really. Two flip flop, two flip flops are more fancy, but levers are just better. Now this one doesn't have to be on one delay, but you know for it to open and close nicely, you'll want it to have it on a delay. Um, so that's that on the slime infested world. Uh, if you'd like to see more tutorials, just let me know. <laughs> and, you know, ask something specific like the melon farm, perhaps. Oh, look. Wow. Looks like a lot of chicken glitched through the wall there. Well, there you go. <laughs> SMP glitches. Um, thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.